And we wanted to examine what the risk to a pregnant woman was of actually contracting the disease and dying of it. And again, it was shocking to us what we found. How did the uh, gynecologists and pediatric doctors recommend this when they had this information long before I did? Tamara Ugolini here with Rebel News, and some of you may recall the interview that I did last week with professional engineer Ken Drysdale. He had compiled an 89-page forensic report titled Investigation into Criminal Allegations Concerning COVID-19 Response. In that interview, Ken and I discussed the initiative to present this report to police stations all across Canada, urging them to initiate a criminal investigation into the COVID-19 response. In that interview, Ken also made an astonishing finding when he looked specifically into the risk of COVID to pregnant women and balanced it with the unknowns of the COVID injectables rolled out to that demographic as safe and effective. But because what we discuss contradicts the widely accepted and unquestioned narrative, I cannot publish the report in full here as we will risk being deplatformed completely. So please make sure to follow all of our uncensored reports directly at rebelnews.com. But in the meantime, you can scroll down to the pinned comment below or open the description and click the link to be redirected to a platform that does not engage in censorship of data or suppression of critical thought. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini.